Hey guys, this is Project Dave. I'm here to talk about Metal Gear Online, because why not? Um, this, this is my character after I spent 800 MB coins. And I bought us, um, Hideo's glasses, because why not? I still think the brewery looks kind of generic, so... No brewery for now, I might buy it when I get another 250 MB coins for the hat. I thought about getting a gold swimming suit, but because I already have like four bucks in the PSN account, but because <laughs> then I'd be totally unique because no one ever wears gold. But, oh well, we'll have to go with 99% unique. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to talk about balance as well as the old leaderboards. So here's my, my stat screen if you're curious. There's a fair amount of AFKs. It's probably like 300 more deaths and a couple hundred more stuns than I would have otherwise. Because uh, when you're hosting games, you have to. It takes like 40 minutes to get started, so I might as well AFK those. You see my MB coins at a solid 5. They were at 805 or 795, 790 a couple days ago. <laughs> but uh, I guess I am positive on everything now. But my stats are pretty good. But if we go look at the rankings, I used to be number 14. If I had played for like 16 hours the two days after getting to 14, I would have been number one. But uh, instead, I just kind of stopped playing. But there's me at 76. The best, well, I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But here's the, the top 10. I, I think I've seen this guy like once. Wasn't super impressive or anything. Izzy, I've seen a lot. Izzy's okay. He plays a lot, apparently. <laughs> He's a pretty good player. Omni Slasher is really, really good. He's he's probably the best player. Uh, I think I might have seen these two a couple times, and I think they're alright. Select and Xander are roughly my skill level. Select might be a little bit better than us. But I don't have a problem with these two. Never kicked either one of them. Um, but they just play well and play reasonably smart. Xander's a little more likely to, to suicide to try to kill me. Uh... Let's see here. I think Exposed Hobo is pretty solid. And I haven't seen everybody, so I can't make commentary on each individual person. Apparently the Japanese players aren't dominating the boards, unless I see Japanese. Unlike most, most of the boards in this game are pretty much all Japanese players. But Okay, Sanson was number one player like two, two weeks ago, but... He stopped playing, so now he's number 36. I've seen Sanson a couple times. He got, he's one of the two players that I've seen get 75 kills with Ocelot one round. Um, but I think I've outscored them. Uh, my highest round was 21,700. And I think that was still more score. It wasn't quite as many kills. It was like 62 and 18 or something. Compared to like 75 and 40. But I tend to not die as much as the the other good players, but I'll I'll still get comparable points because of elocators, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Divex play was the other top player from three weeks ago, and he stopped playing, obviously. So <laughs> everybody's gone. Uh, Divex play is not not quite as good as as Sanson or the other players I've mentioned so far. And let's see here. Okay, Fro's a guy I've played with a lot, and I've kicked a fair number of times, but he's a good guy. Uh, he just kind of annoys me occasionally. I guess he stopped playing, or maybe he only plays occasionally, but he seems to be around a lot. And I'm trying to find one more guy, but I don't know if he's is this high up on the board, but he's definitely played a lot of camp control. Okay, Catatonic, there he is. Catatonic's a guy who joins my AFK games and then boosts, boosts himself and me, sort of, while it's going, which is funny. So, if you're hosting, the host cannot get kicked, but if the other person AFK is, they automatically get kicked, so the game will just end. So it's actually functionally useful that he does this. And in, in general, he's kind of annoying to fight, but pretty fun when he's on your team. He's a, he's a decent player. He's a thoughtful player with some interesting builds, like I've seen him do well with just a non-lethal, straight-up non-lethal scout build, which is pretty tough. Uh, Boops is pretty good, 
And I, I think we're good on talking. I could scroll down until I see another name, but it doesn't matter too much. 150. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's talk about builds. So, they're about to neuter an infiltrator, so I'm gonna play with uh, with my beloved infiltrator a few more times. I'll play the scout a lot next patch because the scout still has e-locators, but uh, basically they're gonna buff enforcer and give him a shitload more HP. What that means is enforcer is already the best blast in the game uh, because of the sleep grenade, sleep grenade launcher, and LMG build is the best build in the game in terms of points getting, as well as survivability, ironically. But now they're going to have 25% more health or whatever, so it's going to be by far the best build in the game, without even a question. Uh, infiltrators are good, and they're very common, but they're not really the best. They're just kind of alright. <laughs> Like, they're certainly second best. Scout is a terrible class, and Scout's probably going to be the second best class after the patch. Because Scout's going to be the only class that has infiltrators. Over the course of a half hour game, uh, e-locators are like 8,000 points or something. <laughs> Out of, you know, 16,000 on average, 15,000 on average from a good player. So it's like half your points. So they're basically just gutting pretty much every one of these builds. Uh, I think every single build I have has e-locators in it. Um, I think the best build in the game right now is not Hail Tactical 3, it would be Tech 3 with just like a normal weapon and B speed. Uh, but Tech 3 requires you to learn in a completely different grenade arc and I'm not good with it yet so I still suck with Tech 3 so my best build is this one which uses the mocked. Um, but I recently put this build up because the MRS is a lot better than the Mocked. But I insisted on using the Mocked just to be true to the class or something. <laughs> it didn't really affect my success rate. The Mocked is a little bit more accurate than the MRS, with the MRS hits like uh, almost twice as hard. So it's a pretty easy weapon to use for, uh, for just killing people. It's probably going to get nerfed in the next patch, but I bet it'll still be the best weapon in the game. But the two things I run are e-locator and stun grenades. Since you get five e-locators, that's basically like at least six to seven marks a life. <laughs> and stun grenades are just good in certain situations in comp control. When people rush into a point and you get like eight stuns and then shoot them all, then that's a ton of points. That's the general goal <laughs> with the stun grenades. Uh, if there's too many people with stun grenades in the game, I will start kicking some of them, but usually not the better players. Just because it gets really fucking annoying having a, the blinding light every five seconds, even if it's on your team. Uh, what else was going to say? So, this is my best build, personally, but it's not necessarily the best build in the game. I'm going to play some Metal Gear Online as a last hurrah, and to celebrate my fan service silver swimming, swimming suit. But, uh, <laughs> last hurrah for, for Dink here, and then we'll switch to, of course, oh, I, I thought I would have named Dink again, but the Scouter, with her uh, aviators on top of eye black, because that's what you wear. But, uh, and I'm not going to wear a swimming suit with a non-infiltrator class because a little known fact, or perhaps a commonly known fact, is that everyone is misogynistic in patriarchal countries, especially the United States, including the women. Um, if you look at my Mortal Kombat videos that show women being violently murdered, well, uh, those, vi those videos have six times as many views from women <laughs> than they do from, from dudes. Like, an average video will have... Say, say the Rocket League menu theme has 6% female audience, 94% male, but uh, the Faction Kill videos have 70% male, 30%, 30% female, so if you're wondering where all those views come from, well, five times as many come from women <laughs> than otherwise. So, that I rest my case on mis women being misogynist. But... So what that means is if you run around in a swimming suit, you're going to get shot in the face. Um, and this is, holds true in MMOs, holds true in Star Wars The Old Republic. There's a lot of dumb outfits in that. 
in Warhammer Online there were classes uh, the witch elf and the sorceress that were both essentially naked women and they got focus fired like no other which I actually used to my advantage eventually but in this game there's no functional advantage other than the fan service aspect so you really want stealth if you're going to run around in a bathing suit so I'm never going to play with a bathing suit on the scout because the scout kind of sucks anyway so I don't want to just be a focus fire target that's just suicidal however Dink will be the exception. Uh, what else was going to talk about? So this this build is a funny one because you get the hail. I'm not going to have the hail anymore, so I should probably try it out today. And I also put in <laughs> three of each thing. I should probably run uh, petrol bombs instead of stun grenades or something. And I foolishly thought that Tactical 3 was unique to, to Infiltrator because Tactical... Tactical Plus is one of the best perks in the game, even at these two levels. Um, it's like a mandatory perk no matter what. But uh, scouts get it right off the bat, so <laughs> infiltrators having it is not necessarily that, that big of a deal. Uh, okay, I guess that's going to do it for my blabbing. I'm going to host a game, and then it'll get started in like 40 minutes, and then I'll start streaming. So, hope you enjoyed it.